along and found a cliff spot sort of around about where we wanted to be for the day for how far we traveled um got the <laughs> caravan set up behind us here what a spot and we've got a pretty pearl spot so this is our view for this afternoon tonight and tomorrow morning So here's even another bigger hole here, which I reckon would have captured a few animals over the years. Right up there through the roof. And this cave just goes on for ages. You can see right through there. We've disturbed the bats now, they're all starting to fly around. Look at so that. here's Mark reenacting the reenacting the photo. It's very cute. I don't know if you can see that. You can't really, it's too dark on the screen. You'll be able to put it up anyway. That was from like three <laughs> years ago. <laughs> too cute. The sign's, uh, the sign's gone higher, so no one can put stickers on it anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so we are back on the road after a riveting time in Kalgoorlie. <laughs> mm. um, so we arrived and did our awesome surprise for our mates, as you know. Spent our seven days in quarantine as we were close contacts. Now we're back, back, we're back on, on the road. road. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't really do much in Kalgoorlie. So if you do want to know anything about like touristy things to do in Cal, um, check out our previous episodes yeah. back at the start of last year or yeah. the mid last year, um, because we did actually spend a week in Cal as tourists then. So it's all in previous YouTube um, episodes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we're heading south uh, down towards Esperance, but we're actually going to cut through sort of inland a bit more from Gibson um, and head down towards Mungledup um, and camp somewhere along there. There's a few campsites along there, like um, cheap campsites, Mungledup Beach, Starvation Bay, Mason Bay. Um, so we're just going to go down and check out uh, a few of those and find where we might like to stay for the night tonight. So yeah, back to it. What are you doing up there, little lamb? Just fun. Just having fun climbing the tree? And also, plugger. You broke Wait. your plugger. So for the years that we've always lived in Kalgoorlie and we used to drive down to Esperance, we'd always drive past Gibson. It's only 50 k's out of Esperance and you'd just like, oh, we'll just leg it because we've got to get to Esperance. We've never really stopped in here and had to check it out. Um, and we've thought, we'll come and check out the pub because it's, it's a real awesome little pub. We've, um, it, every time we used to come through here, it was shut because they uh, had a big fires come through here at some stage and they burnt the place um, inter internally. So every time we'd come through, it was shut. So we're like, ah, we just won't worry about it. Figure we're not gonna come through again now on our last lap around. So um, yeah, we thought we'd stop in for a sneaky beer. Um, they've also got a um, fuel here as well. So if you need fuel, you can say, um, fill up. It's only like 50 k's out of Esperance. So yeah, really cool. And there's monkeys in the tree here too, look. So it's a cool little pub. It's got a few local beers on tap. We've got Lucky Bay Brewing on tap, so that's good. I'll have a sneaky one of those. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's really quite cool. Massive fig trees outside. Yeah, really the good ambience. Yeah, fig trees make though. it really, don't they? Yeah. Like, that's, this is a really just, cool beer garden. Like you're sitting underneath it. Like it's just massive. But yeah, it's a bit quiet though. We come through, I know, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon, so. I think we've missed the lunchtime and we've missed the night time, so yeah. <laughs> it's a good time to come through. It's nice though. Anyway, it's yeah, good. definitely put it on your list if you're heading down to Esperance from um, Kalgoorlie or Norseman. 
Definitely. Or from Esperance. Or up, yeah, oh. either way. <laughs> Check it out, it's a good little spot. Yeah, it's cool. Cheers. Cheers. Alright, so we stayed here last night at Munglin Up Beach. Um, it's a pretty cool little spot, not a caravan park, but it's like a little, uh, just a spot for camping. You can see you've just got bays like this sort of thing, just scattered around. And the beach is just pretty much over that hill there, so it's really quite uh, pretty cool. And you can see a fair few bays open. We've got toilets, bins, which is always good. Nothing worse than having to keep all your rubbish, but that's awesome. You can put your rubbish away. So as you can see, it goes on for a while. I won't do the whole walk, but yeah, she goes on all the way up there. So there's 14 spots in total. And we got in, well, when we got in yesterday afternoon, there was only one left, so we were lucky we jagged that one. And you can't book them or anything like that either, so. You know, it's just to first in, first serve sort of thing. Anyway, good little spot. It's a bit windy and rainy this morning, so I think we're just going to have a bit of an explore and then pack up and move on to the next location. Yeah. 11 and a 
half mile. <laughs> Six and a half mile. All these miles, but there's all these little spots you can pull over and have a bit of a play on the beach or just stop for lunch or do whatever. You can't camp at most or some of them, but yeah, um, but yeah just good to stop by anyway and have a look around. Yeah, but those two major campsites were great. There's heaps of spots there. No one's even here. It's the yeah. first day of Easter, ho Easter holidays, school holidays. So it's yeah. dead quiet. Isn't no it? one's it's around, cool. so that was interesting to see. Yeah. But yeah, do this drive along if you have a chance. If you've got the van on, easy as. Yeah, it's worth it. It's good. Keep heading west. Yep. All right, so we sort of legged it a bit last night. Um, just kept driving, uh, heading towards Albany. We just thought, oh, we might as well just get there because um, we don't really want to see much stuff on the way and also the weather is not looking the best, so we thought we'd just get there. So we pulled into this rest stop last night, um, probably about 7.30 sort of thing, so it was dark. Um, just a word of advice when you are pulling into rest stops and things like that, get out and have a bit of a walk first. Get a torch or the, your phone with a light on it and have a look where you're going because we didn't. We got a nice flat spot, the van's level, but so close to running into trees. And we're off the path here. Nothing major, just a good thing to check anyway. And the other thing as well is that because you can't see too much, a lot of these rest stops have got a lot of overhanging trees. You got a lot of branches and things like that that you don't want to hit the caravan with. And when we leave this morning, I've got to reverse up. So hopefully, we don't hit that. So use the spotter, I'll get Kate out and she can just make sure I'm not gonna run into it. But a little bit of advice from people that have stuffed up in the past. But nah, all good. This uh, free little camp spot, it's just a rest area. And it's uh, actually a nice little flying river down there. Really quite cool. It's right next to the highway though. But I think we heard about one car last night, so really good. Anyway, we're heading off up to Albany today. So we uh, got into Cozy Corner and it is quite cozy. It's pretty tight. Um, there was one or two tiny little spots that you could um, maybe fit our van in that were open. Um, there's plenty of spots where you can fit it, but they were pretty uh, occupied. So we've ended up going over to the overflow area, which is just before um, the camp spot, which is fine. It's just like an overflow area. So we just parked up there, but um, we're just going through the, um, the tent area at the moment and it is just jam packed. like. It's really just shove any little sort of tent or swag or rooftop or whatever you can, wherever you can go. So yeah. get in early, I suppose, is the thing. Well, um, I think it's just a matter of luck, really. Yeah. We, we, um, we just went through a drive through um, the caravan part just to show everyone. And um, had a couple of people look like they're packing up. So it's about 9.30. So get in about 10 o'clock, I suppose. And that's 
when you might get a spot. We could probably move over there if we wanted to. Um, we're staying here for another two nights. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth moving over or not. Yeah, we're not really hanging out here. That's the thing. We're sort of just using it as a base. But we'll see. Anyway, gonna go off exploring Albany today, doing all the touristy stuff in town. So go yep. check that out. Should be good. Should be cool. All right, so we've come to check out Natural Bridge and um, the Gap. It's been raining all, uh, all today, so it's just a bit of a gap in the weather. So hopefully it should be nice out here. It's pretty cool when you sort of look out and see out to the ocean, little islands and stuff. And they've built, built like a little man made viewing platform here. So we shall go check it out and see what it's like. <laughs> That's really awesome. Nature at its best. Pretty cool. Very cool. Alright, so we've done the gap and the natural bridge. Just were driven around the corner. Yep. We're now at the blowholes. It's a bit of a walk down, I think like 800 meters or something like that. It's not much. Some steps, nothing major. But yeah. Apparently uh, you got to wait for the weather to be a bit inclement, which is sort of what we've got now. So we thought we might as well see it. Bit of rough weather out there, some waves. We'll see if we can't see a blowhole. So that was the blowholes done and dusted. Bit uneventful, but I think not it's much more blowing in the holes today. Nah, not the worst weather for once. You need worse weather than this. Yeah. Anyway, still cool. Hear the sound and everything like that, but there's yeah, no water exiting the hole. That sounds gross. Anyway, <laughs> we're going back to camp now, so we'll see what we can find tomorrow. Wrap it up for the day. So we've just wandered down here to check out the beach at Cozy Corner. It's like literally just a little pathway down from the tent area. It looks quite nice. Pretty cool beach, though know, the weather's not great.
Kids having a surf. They're all wearing wetsuits. Pretty little spot. Might be um, a good spot for fishing around here. The kids have just found half a fish carcass that's been left up here on the beach. Could have been a decent sized fish. Yeah, and it took like an hour to Bit of a concern, that may be a little bit of a shark bite there. <laughs> may not be the best area to swim in. <laughs> you just never know. Alright, so we made our way out today to the National Anzac Centre. This is all new, all new compared to when we were here last. We were here about 10 years ago. But um, yeah, really awesome little spot overlooking the beautiful Albany water. How good's that? But yeah, coming here today with the kids, a bit of a history lesson, pay respects, good stuff. Oh, well, that's pretty awesome experience to come check this out. Um, yeah, obviously we're not going to record it all, but we checked out everything here. It's really good. Um, the, the kids even didn't get bored or anything like that, which is always a positive. Um, but yeah, definitely come check it out if you're in Albany. It's really nice, really good spot, and yeah, there's a lot of good history here. So another good thing to come check out while you're here is the Museum of the Great Southern really good there's an old jail over here there's a um, another sort of uh, museum and then there's also I don't know if you can see it in the background there's a ship it's called the Brig Amity we're gonna go through a, a walk through there lots of cool stuff to check out the kids will love it so yeah we'll go have a look Alright, so we checked out the museum, checked out the Anzac Centre. Yep. And now. Saw the cool Lego of the shipwreck. Oh, yeah, at awesome. The museum, that was pretty cool. Awesome Lego stuff. Now we're at the whaling station.
typical us fashion, it's raining now. So uh, last time I think we did a hike when it was raining, we ended up getting flooded in and um, stuck with the car. So hopefully it's not that bad this time. How's the serenity? Oh, <laughs> just soak it in. <laughs> it is amazing. Very cool, but very wet. Real cool little pub, um, and it's got like a few local taps, uh, local taps. Beers. We'll start again. Eh? <laughs> All right, so we sort of legged it a bit last night. Um, out of the wind. We'll see if we can't see a blowhole. Or we can just get Kate to bend over and fluffy. <laughs> That's crazy. This is my life. Forever kids. Get me in the way. Yeah, this is a blooper. No, it's not. This is part of it. So everyone knows how much yeah, turds you are. Yeah, this is a blooper. Everyone can see what real life is like. Get that blooper into you.